afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup ahead between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the San Francisco Giants. Digging in next will be Starling Marte and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The two and one on its way. Now a good pitch around the knees but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Takes this the other way to right. But this will not elude the right fielder's grasp as he ranges over to handle it for the first out. Ready now for the Diamondbacks. Nick Ahmed, a couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. And he lays off here, ball four, and he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Up next for Arizona, Cattell Marte. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. He's going. There goes the runner. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he steals second. Ahmed. The runner at second with one away. Good time to call the change as he swings and misses for strike two. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Three and two, full count. On the ground to the right side. Belt has it. Only play will be to the pitcher covering and the runner will advance to third now. So here's the cleanup hitter for Arizona. David Peralta is ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here's the 2-1. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Now in the box, Wilmer Flores. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. A 1 1. Taken, strike two. And it's fouled away. Again, a 1-2. Slow roller left side. Fielded cleanly. And a good throw gets him one gun. So in now for San Francisco. Brandon Crawford. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. A ball and two strikes now. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. The 2 2. And he fouls this one off. One out, nobody on. Lifted down the line and left. And this will wind up a foul ball. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. Fastball is outside. It's full now. Three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll find its way into center field for a one out hit. Batting third. The right field. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. Ball even at two and two. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Peralta is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Next to bat for the Giants, Mike Yastrzemski. His batter pitcher numbers with Luke Weaver. He's a perfect two for two. The 1-1. One, one. Ball. We got two balls, one strike. Come on, Matt Jair. 
Just got the corner that time with a fastball strike two. Well executed fastball right at the knees. Going to be a long day for this offense if he stays in that spot. Swung on and missed and that's the final out of the inning. So here's Eduardo Escobar. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. But a foul ball as it holds it 2-2. Two and two. Popped him up. Sandoval in foul ground makes the play one away into the box Christian Walker as he'll get his first opportunity in this one and he finds a way to catch the zone here it's one and two fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul Bases are empty, one man out. Hard hit ball to second. Flores is there. And that's the second out. Settling in now, Stephen Vogt took an 0 for 4 in the victory last night. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit out towards second, taken in by Flores. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Here's the Panda now, Pablo Sandoval. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Now the three and two pitch. Fouled away. The three, two, one more time. It's the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. And that'll bring up the big bat of Alex Dickerson. He's hitting 333 in the series, two for six. Now a good pitch around the knees, but it doesn't quite catch the bottom of the zone. Two balls and two strikes now. Bottom of the second here with no score. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Stepping up now, Brandon Belt. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Inside here with the hard stuff, and it's two and one now. Can't connect there, it's two and two. Fouled off. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Marte will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Stepping up to the plate, Ildemaro Vargas, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 two -two one more time. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off on that one that wasn't even close. And the Diamondbacks have their first hit of the game. Batting up. The pitcher. Luke Weaver. Into the box now, Luke Weaver. And they'll indeed have the pitcher squaring around as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful sacrifice. 
So it's back to the top of the order now. And that'll bring up Starling Marte. Popped him up. Belt moving to his left. He's got it, and there are two down now. Stepping in and ready for another shot, now Nick Ahmed reached base the via the walk in his first Nick plate appearance. Ahmed. The set and the 1-1. One -one. Third inning, no score to this point. Lays off two and two now. Slow roller out to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as this side is retired. Here's Buster Posey now. He had a couple of hits in that ball game last night. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. And this is pop foul, but perhaps playable behind first. But this will land untouched. This one's down to third. He's right there. Throws in time, and that's out number one. So one gone here in the San Francisco third. And that will bring up Hudges' boy, Derek Rodriguez. A ball and two strikes to the Giants pitcher. Hey, that's the modern game right now. North-south. Elevate that high fastball and bury stuff in the dirt. Completely different from the east-west we came up playing. Made a miss on the off-speed pitch that time. Derek Rodriguez becomes out number two this inning. And this one misses high for ball four, and they have themselves a two-out base runner. So a runner at first with two away. And that'll bring up the left-handed hitting shortstop and San Francisco Bay Area native Brandon Crawford. And it's one and two. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Cattell Marte. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. The one two. This pitch is popped up. And safe at first on a bang bang play as that last lunge was enough to beat now the throw. Left fielder. David Peralta. To the plate now, David Peralta. And he lays off the pitch down and away. Ball two. Man, he just missed the zone right there. One of the toughest pitches in the game, that backdoor cutter. As an offensive player, you give up on that pitch. As soon as it comes out of the hand, the next thing you know, it's trying to grab the corner. The second for one. On to first. Not in time as the umpire was right there to make the call. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. Runner goes for second. And he fouls this one off. The one-two. These are the great matchups that happen throughout the course of the game. I don't think as a pitcher you can give in right here. He's a great hitter at the plate. He knows it. You know it. Keep executing. Maybe get him to roll something over. Popped him up. Posey is there. And he makes the catch for the second out. 
Russo stepping in. Christian Walker. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Lays off the breaking pitch and it's three balls and a strike. Time to wake up the offense right here. Three one count all in on something over the heart of the plate. Fouled away. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. Just hung in there on that one. He'll try it again. Three and two. Sliced hard on the ground. Flores has it. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Digging in to try it again. Hunter Pence flied out in his first at bat so make him 0 for 1 so far. From the windup the 1 1 pitch. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. The 2 1. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one frozen. And this is cut on and missed by Pence as he set down on strikes for the first down. Now the Giants' number four batter, Mike Yastrzemski, he looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, Sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. No runs, just one hit, and no errors on the giant ledger to this point. And he pumps the fastball by him here, one and two now. When the pitcher on the mound's establishing this kind of heater, you got to come off everything else and find a way to get that bat head in the zone. Well, it looked like the fastball got away from him there. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Escobar brings it in, and that ends the inning. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. Stepping into the box, Stephen Vogt. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Fouled off. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. The next 3 2. Hit hard up the middle. And this is going to scoot on through into center for a base hit leading off the inning. The batter number 50, second baseman, Ildemaro Vargas. So now to the plate, Ildemaro Vargas. Change up just off the black, and it's two and one. Two and two. Well, he snapped that breaking ball off really nice. He'll do well to keep putting it there. The 2-2. And it's fouled away. The 2-2 one more time. One thing to take note of is how these last two batters have really driven up his pitch count. He's had to use 14 pitches already on them, and he's not even through this guy yet. 14 is near the top end of what you want to throw in a complete inning. And that misses for ball four. And it's first and second now with nobody out. The 1-1 home is going to be a sacrifice attempt as he gets it down. To second for one on the belt, but it won't be in time as they just settle for one.
Here's Starling Marte. In his last at bat, he popped out in foul ground. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. And he takes ball two, and it's two and one. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. Couldn't be a whole lot better situation to hit it now. Three and one, two on. He's got to be thinking he's going to get a pitch he can drive right here. And he misses with it, ball four, so that'll load the bases, and now he's really going to need to get a ground ball. No runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Diamondbacks. One and two now. That's a tough curveball right there to stay into as a lefty hitter. That ball looks like it's almost going to hit you, and it breaks over the inside half of the plate. Now a fastball, but that's easy to lay off, and it's back to even at two and two. He's already walked two in this inning already. This guy just can't seem to find the strike zone. Two two pitches fouled away. From the belt, kicks and deals. And he tries to get him to reach for it, but it stays outside three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. A diving effort here as he gets a glove on it. But the recovery is too late at first, and the run is in to score. The center fielder, number four, Patel Marte. At the plate, Patel Marte is put in play to the right side of the infield. Knee high, he barehands it. It's there, and he's out. So two on with two away. And up next, the outfielder, David Peralta. David Peralta. And all oh, that gets him on the mound. Recovery throw is not in time, and that'll go down as a painful single. Sam Coonrod trots in from the bullpen here as he inherits a tough spot with two on and two away. Escobar. Into the box, Eduardo Escobar. And now a good slider that doesn't quite catch the zone. It's two and one now. And he lays off again, ball three. This is a spot you'd like to be in as a good hitter. Runners in scoring position and count leverage in your favor. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. Into score is the runner from first. Now a 5 nothing lead. Now that the first in now, Christian Walker. Can't find the zone there, and it's 3-1. and one. High in the air out to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Now to the plate, Alex Dickerson comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Lifted the other way to left center. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. So one away here with the bases empty. And standing in now, the left-handed hitting first baseman, Brandon Belt. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. Ahmed fields it cleanly. Throw gets him. Two down. Ready for another chance. Buster Posey. He got on top of one and was a ground-out victim last time. into the corner and slicing foul. He was looking for a swing and a miss breaker right there, but left that one in the zone that got fouled off. Two balls and two strikes to the Giants catcher. Bases are empty here with two men out. Heading out towards shallow right. After it is Marte. 
He can't get there, so the inning will continue. Donovan Solano will look for some two out magic here as he'll pinch hit with two gone and a runner at first. Lifted down the line in left. And this will wind up a foul ball. Hit in the air to left. Peralta is under it. No trouble with this one. And the inning is over. Danny Jimenez please. takes over to start now the sixth please. inning on the mound. Number 52. Daddy. Top half of the sixth Daddy. about to get started. So digging in now, Stephen Vogt. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. 3 2 pitch. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Dickerson's on the move. But he won't get to it, and this should put a man in scoring position to start the inning. And he'll get there as he legs out the leadoff triple. The batter number 50, second baseman. Into the box now, Hildemaro Vargas. But this is gloved over there at first as he was in the right spot at the right time. One away. Coming to the plate now, the pitcher for the Diamondbacks, Luke Weaver. He reached on a fielder's choice previously. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. Hey, that's a great job by the pitcher right there, stealing a strike with that get-me-over breaking ball, and now he can get a little nastier with it in the dirt. Swing and a miss at the curveball, and there's your second out of the inning. Back to the top spot in the Arizona lineup now, and stepping in, Starling Marte. No hits to this point. And the pitch misses low and away for ball two. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. The 2-2. Two -two. Line drive to center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. The bat, number 13. Short ball. Near to the plate now, Amit. Nick Ahmed. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. He's not having his best outing in this one, and I think that curveball is part of the reason why. He couldn't get on top of that one, and that's not the first time that's happened. The 2-2. Two -two. Sharp ground ball to third. Oh, and trouble for Sandoval. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. to the leadoff spot in the Giants lineup stepping forward Wilmer Flores as he'll get things started in the sixth for the Giants up and in on the hands it's two balls and a strike well we all know he's not the greatest threat with the bat up there his numbers certainly aren't that pretty but hey I give him credit he's really working the count right here Brandon Crawford will be next swing and a line drive but foul And that's lifted in the air out toward left. Peralta comes in a few steps as he hauls it in for the first out. Here's the shortstop, Brandon Crawford. A hit in two tries so far. Brandon Crawford. In there at the letters, one and two now. Two balls and two strikes to Crawford. Hit hard towards center. And maybe trouble afoot as Crawford's aboard here with a base hit. Stepping in now, Hunter Pence. Two and one. Runners on first with one down. Pulled high in the air out to left field. 
Oh, and a fine play there as he ranges back to put this one away. Not an easy play by any means, and there are two gone. The left fielder, number Into five. the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. He struck yes. out and right flied three. out, 0 for 2 so far. A 1-1 pitch. Aye. Two out with the man at first. to two balls and two strikes now. Flipped out the other way towards short. And this will be pulled in easily for the final out of the inning. John Del Gustave enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. Number 74. Digging in the switch hitter, Patel Marte. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And that misses two and one. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Running hard, he's digging for second. And he's not stopping. He wants three. And he'll get there as he kicks off the seventh with a leadoff triple. Now batting. Left fielder, David Peralta. Standing in now, David Peralta. On that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. But it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Eduardo Escobar standing in. A couple of RBIs for him already, and a chance for more here. Here now the 2 2. Belted high and deep into right center. Hence looks up. And this one is gone, a home run. At the plate, Christian Walker. There's strike two on a fastball right down the middle. There's a fastball well off the plate inside. The 2 2. Still only one out in the inning. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's 3 and 2 now. Stephen Vogt will be next. Rip down the line, but this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And he fouls this one off. Neither guy given in. Here's the next one. Oh, he finally wears him down here as he strikes him out after a nine pitch at bat. Now the Trying to pick things up where we left off. Vogt. Steven Vogt, two for three for him so far, including a triple. A ball and two strikes. Now, Offered at that breaking ball below the zone, and that's a tough one to spit on. But the key is recognizing it coming out of the pitcher's hand earlier and making sure that it goes up before it comes down. More likely to be a hanger when that's the case. Dickerson Wait, is going to have room out Jordan there as he the puts tradition. this away to retire the side. Merrill Kelly will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Carson Kelly will also come on now as he'll move into the pitcher's number nine hold in the order here on that double switch. Number 18, Carson Kelly. Two balls and two strikes to the former World Series MVP. Down the first baseline. But this is going to be a foul ball as that keeps things at two and two. The pitch. Lifted down the line and left. 
And that will end up a foul ball. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Reined in. And there's one down now. Ready once again, Alex Dickerson. He flew out in his last at bat. One out, nobody on. Fouled away. The 3 2 pitch. And he loses him on a breaking ball. Here's the first baseman, Brandon Belt. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Brandon. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. Out in front of that one may have been looking fastball. Good job just to make contact. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Popped him up. Escobar over to his right. Two gone. Ready for another shot now. Buster Posey, one for two. He grounded out first time up and followed that with a base hit. The 1-1 one, one home is fastball taken high for a ball. He would have had to go with the old school Tommy Hawk approach on that one if he wanted to get on top, but he was able to lay off it. Fouled off. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Swing and a miss at a big breaking ball, and that's how the inning comes to an end. Digging in once again, Hildemaro Vargas hit the ball pretty well in his last at-bat, but it resulted in a line-out. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the result sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. Line toward the gap in left center. But this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. Now batting. Striding in, Carson Kelly. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. The 1-1 one, one home. Hit hard towards center. And that'll get down out there near the wall. Now this will rattle up against the wall. Around second. He's on his way to third. And he's in there at third with a one-out triple. Reyes Maranta will come on now and he'll slide into the seven spot in the lineup following the double switch. Evan Longoria is into the ball game as well as he'll slide into the pitcher's spot hitting ninth now on the double switch. At the plate now, Starling Marte. The count now at two and one. Now playing first base and batting nine. Number 10, Evan. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. But this one will bend foul. Had plenty of distance though as it landed in the upper deck. Here now the 2-2. Okay. Nick Ahmed waits on deck. In front of the change up there as this is chopped foul at home plate. He got him. And it'll probably take a base hit now to get that runner across from third. The bat, number 13. Now batting, Nick Ahmed. He was a ground out victim last time up. And that's on the outside corner. One and two. One ball, two strikes to count. Misses. Ball two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Maybe trying to back him up a bit there with the fastball. 
Now on three and two as a pitcher, you've got to go with the pitch that you feel most comfortable throwing with. Hit in the air to left field. Yastrzemski is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Stepping into the box, Evan Longoria. Two hits and eight tries for the series. And treading carefully with Longoria here. It's three and one now. Call didn't go his way on two and one, but it's important here on three and one to still make a quality pitch. You have to have the mindset that you're still the one in the driver's seat. Nobody out runner on first. Grounded up the first baseline, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Skied into straightaway right. Marte is under it. One down. Brandon Crawford digging in next. Last time through was a base hit. Brandon Crawford. Mm, can't do much with that one. It's one and two. Here we go. In the dirt here, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. The right fielder, number eight. Here's the right fielder Hunter Pence. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. And he misses two and one. On a good pitch there had him stretching to get out there and it's two and two now. Hey, hats off to the pitching staff right here. They've been able to hold a hot hitter in check in game four of this series. Another try at 2-2. There's a ball into right center field. That's going to be a base hit. So now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. The left field. Into the box now, Mike Yastrzemski. And he turns on this one and yanks it foul and back out of play. Got him swinging in the dirt. And a good throw is in time, and they escape the jam. Tony Watson comes on to work now and he's their usual closer but this is obviously not a save opportunity. Yeah and this is all about just getting him some work guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Shot towards second. Throw on to first for the out and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. At the plate, David Peralta. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Yeah, he's got to put that one behind him, especially with runners in scoring position. Those punch outs will stick with you a little longer. Now, a little dribbler here off to the right side of the mound. And the off balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. Digging in and looking for more, Eduardo Escobar. He went deep for a two run homer in his previous at bat. Yeah, Matt, and going back to that last at bat when he hit the homer, that was a fastball that was up in the zone. This guy likes the ball up in the zone, so if I'm on the mound right now, I'm thinking try to keep the ball at the knees and below. He doesn't handle that low pitch quite as well. And a good effort to bring it back in quickly, but he's in at second base with a double. To the plate now, Christian Walker. Hard hit at third. And nothing will come of the two out double as the inning is over.
standing in Pablo Sandoval. He'll swing it from the left side right here. And this is the side of the plate this guy loves to hit at. Hitting over 350 left-handed, hitting against right-handed pitching. One ball. Uh, and that fastball is too much for him there. One and two. And it's fouled away. Oh, and he's caught looking at a beautiful curveball there as that buckled him for the first now out of the back. inning. Better fielder. At the Alex. plate, Alex Dickerson. It Dickerson. was a walk in his last trip. Ball. Fastball runs in tight here, and it's two and one. High in the air out to center field. Marte is there and folks are starting to head for the exits now You're two gone here in the ninth. Mauricio Dubon will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two out from the bases empty. Last strike here for the Giants. And this is hit hard to the right side. Foul. Good swing on a tough pitch, and he'll stick around to see another one. Now a swing and a fly ball, and this should do it. And he'll put this one away to end it, and the Diamondbacks have taken the finale here. They win the series three games to one as the ball game is over. Well, just an excellent job right here closing this one out. He just collected the first save of his career. Got to start somewhere. 8 nothing. the final today. The Arizona Diamondbacks used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Luke Weaver wins his third of the season. Merrill Kelly takes the rare three-inning save, his first of the year. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Diamondbacks. Eight runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Giants, no runs, four hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and seven minutes. Thank you for joining us here this afternoon. And we remind you to please drive home safely.